Hi, it's Lisa Ray Page Rosenberg and, um, and Teddy. And exciting news, I now have a catchphrase, I guess you'd call it, for my YouTube channel, um, delivered to me by my friend Ted, not this Ted, my other friend Ted, and it's Lisa Ray Page Rosenberg, all four names, all for you. It's good, right? Okay. Anyway, a um, couple of things. Last time we were talking about books, and I was reading, I was about to start this book. Can you see it? Here we go. Uh, Topics of Conversation by Miranda Popke. So I read it in a couple days. I did not like it. And usually when I start a book, if I'm, if I'm not into it or it doesn't grab me, then um, after about 40, 50 pages, I just put it down and move on to the next book because life's too short. But this book was, I just kept waiting, waiting to see if something was going to happen. And I guess this book, that's not the point of this book, really, but I don't know. Um, it's sort it's different conversations that this one woman has over the course of a number of years with different people. And um, I didn't like any of the characters, which sometimes works for me, but this time did not. And I kept waiting till the very end and nothing happened and nobody changed. So um, it's just not for me. It's on a bunch of best of lists. So obviously somebody, you know, best of coming 220 books. You know what I mean? Anyway, somebody likes it. Maybe it's for you. Um, it's not for me. So a couple of things I wanted to, dis wanted to discuss. So one of the things that Mr. Rosenberg got for me for Christmas that I love, and I don't think I've shown it here before, is this portrait of the guys, of Levi and Teddy. I mean, how cute is that? So um, the artist did it from a photo of the guys, and then he put them on a different background. Um, but it's oil painted, he does it on reclaimed wood, and then he makes the frame himself also on reclaimed wood. So it's environmentally friendly, as well as being so damn adorable, I can't take it. So anyway, the artist's name is Daniel Balderoff, and he also does um, landscapes, and he does people portraits, and as well as animal portraits. And I'm going to link to his info down below so that if you would like to get something done by him, a, pro a portrait done, I mean, it's so great and a great gift. But anyway, so speaking of dogs, this is my segue. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, not talk about, tell a story. Tell a story about, I had, uh, a dog in the 90s named Stella, who was one of the loves of my life, and um, I adored her, and she was a big black lab rescue lady. And um, as she got older, um, she started having, you know, issues, mostly uh, where she couldn't hold it before she went outside. You, I think you know what I mean. Um, so there was one time I came home from work and I opened the bedroom door because she liked to stay in the bedroom because it was quieter. I opened the bedroom door and the entire room was covered in dog poo. And I guess she had gone, she had slipped in it, and then she had done this, and then it had gone everywhere. Even into my closet, on my clothes. So I know I just told a vomit story um, 
in one of my last videos, if not the last video. But not every story is going to be disgusting, but today's is. So anyway, there was another time with Stella where um, I had, it was really, really, really hot out. And I had to pick up Stella from the vet and I had to conduct an interview um, way out in the valley, like Pacoima, Arlita, somewhere like that, where there was a recording studio. So I was going to meet, and I think at the time, I think it was Ozzy Osbourne that I was supposed to go interview, and he had canceled many times before, and I had to just keep showing up and showing up and hope that I would get him. So anyway, I'm wearing something kind of fancy-ish, you know, business-like, which is dumb, because Aussie, and it was hot out, but whatever. Trying to look professional. And I had Stella in the back of the car, and the plan was I pick Stella up at the vet on my way there and drop her off at my friend Karen's house. Um, and so what happened was, as we're driving in the heat, she has an accident in the back of my car, in the back of my Volvo, and my Volvo sedan. So, and it was hot out, and I did not have air conditioning in that car. So we had all the windows down, and it was just, the smell is everywhere. And so I pull up to Karen's house, and I was like, mayday so, this is bad bad times back here and so she actually took stella who was covered in poop and um brought out towels washed her down and i had to just keep driving so i keep driving to the valley uh through the valley and um it's just hot and it smells terrible and i'm supposed to valet at this recording studio and i was like you really don't want to get in this car right now and I didn't want to explain it and it was bad so I get there I wait a couple hours and of course it's not gonna work out I can't interview him that day either so I get back in the car now I'm driving back through the valley to go pick up Stella and I stop at a car wash and it was just closing and I pulled up and I was like, can I get the inside of my car detailed? Because this is one of the worst scenes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and um, anyway, they actually did it. I tipped them a lot. So again, this is another story about something disgusting that happens in a car where we then need to get the car detailed. And I swear, I don't know. We do have other stories in my family, but I don't know. Why don't they spring to mind? <laughs> so then I went back and picked Stella up in this damp, vaguely poo-smelling car that's been cleaned, but mm, not quite anyway. So I picked up Stella and Karen, uh, the, the meaning of friendship, had cleaned and washed Stella, detailed Stella, so that she could get back in the car and we could go back home. Anyway, it was, I think, another two, two more times, of, just as an aside, two more times that I had to show up to a recording studio to not interview Ozzy, which I think should probably um, surprise no one just based on what we all know. But um, when I finally did, he was hilarious and awesome. So that's my story of the day. Another yucky story. And um, that, oh, there's Teddy. There he is down here. There's the back of him. I just want to remind you, you can have one of these of your pet. I mean, how damn cute are they? So, yes, Daniel Bolderoff, oh, the artist. I will put his info down below. And please...
give a thumbs up, the, press the like button, because you like these gross stories, admit it. And also, um, if you could subscribe, if you don't already, and there's a little bell next to the subscription thing, you so press the bell and it will alert you whenever a new icky story comes up. I swear to God, they're not all gonna be like this. It just kind of happened that way. Sorry, but um, anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday. I'm still in pajamas. I hope you find a way to still be in pajamas today too, because shouldn't we all just be in pajamas all the time? Yes, we should. That's the answer to that. Bye.